What a game, what a way to do it. What's your perspective as, as a coach on the game your team just played? Well, first, this is a first-year team we just played. I think uh, Casey and her staff have done such a great job. I mean, what a what a wonderful rivalry that's developed. So good for the league in the 10th year. It's, it's pretty exciting. And my team, not the start we wanted. I think they really showed their character there, though. And that was something that I was so proud of, is just the way that they bounced back from it, the way that got back on the ball, how we kept trying to play our way, and we are just knocking on the door. and. It had to be Crystal right at the end there to win it for us. This is such a storybook ending. I loved it. Not ending yet. Um, one more step to go, but uh, very, very proud of the team. Ending for, for this game, at least. And what, what did it mean for, for it to be Crystal, for her, her comeback to, to really be kind of crowned in a way with this moment of scoring her first goal since, since returning and doing it in that situation and with that kind of meeting? Yeah, just... Um, just crystal that she should be like on every billboard not only a phenomenal player which we kind of get lost in because she's a mother now and that's hard for people to like how is this woman doing this and just such a a wonderful role model for for so many things she's 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 so clear in in her beliefs and in her just the, the way she leads the team and um yeah it's great to have her back and her leadership and you can see what she does like the goal is one thing but the voice on the field, how she helps those around her, how she connected passes, that was a real difference maker for us. You mentioned not the start you wanted, going down one nothing, but but getting back into the game. What did it show you about your team that you were able to respond relatively quickly after going down? Yeah, I mean, also, I mean, <laughs> the, the way they score is not a surprise to anyone. They, they just do it really, really well. It's not like we haven't talked about that for the last few weeks. So even that frustration, you know, that, that could easily derail a team being like, we knew this was... <laughs> Just you saw straight away. I think we went back down the field right afterwards, and um, yeah, I don't think we were ever going to lose this game. I was never in doubt. I really felt very confident about it. They, the way that they have been working, and just the way that they handled defensive pressure, a save from Bella that I still can't understand, putting their body on the line in the back, um, just all round. The players that didn't get on the field, their attitude and character—you have to speak to that. Like this is a great team, and it's not just the 11 on the field or those that play, it's just a phenomenal group. We haven't touched on Rocky's goal yet. C can you put into perspective the level of difficulty in that type of finish? No, because I could never do that. I mean, I taught her how to do it, obviously, but um, Rocky, yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, Bella. <laughs> um, but see, good people. Um, yeah, Rocky's been, growing through the season, continuing to push her standards. I think we've seen some of her best soccer in the last little while and deserve that goal. She's worked so hard and worked, kind of got sticky for her at the beginning of the game. She wasn't finding the pockets and how she stuck in it and really became a difference maker for us and how she was finding those those high pockets and really spreading the, the ball wide. And to be there to hit that, no, I can't tell you how hard it was because I've never done that. <laughs> this team's been through a lot in the past few weeks. What did it show you about how they handled that and specifically how they handled today and how they performed today after what they've been through. Right, you say weeks, but this team has had two years of this. And in the last few weeks, it's been intensified in a way that um, I don't think people fully recognize. And the pressure on the players to, to say something and to do something, and you're like, these women have had enough. They've been through enough. They just want to play, and you saw that. We talked about the joy of getting to do what we love, and that's what they did, and I, I, that's what I, I love. Because it could have, sorry, it could have gone either way. It could have been too much, and it would have been an easy excuse, by the way, to just be like, whatever. I, they just, you can see that this team might want the season to be over, but then you show up with fans in full voice, and the atmosphere here just blew me away. And uh, they showed up, and they showed up to show what they can do, and I'm very, I'm so proud of them. Now headed to the NWSL Championship. Uh, what does it mean to, in your first year as, as a head coach for the Thorns, to be there? And what does the next week look like for you? Uh, I can't tell you yet because I, I just, I'm just on this ride with them. And um, this is a team that I inherited and just have a real privilege of getting to stand with them. And to, to not win the league by a point in such a heartbreaking way, you know, Maybe we needed that game so that we could gr grit this one out and get this one. You know, we have to look at it that way. And, and one more game left. And um, just excited to, to put them in a position to really 
have a season that's about the joy of the game and not everything else off the field. So uh, yeah, they, they, they were always going to win this game. I was never in doubt.